Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends. This is a uh, white canvas as you can see and up here we've just coated it completely in a thin layer of liquid white. I've painted the canvas in liquid white so we can blend colour on this uh, on this canvas. Uh, one of my other brothers sent me another photograph from where he was and it's of a hilltop looking out onto the sea, uh, you know a cliff top looking out onto the sea and the sunset and everything and it's He's told me to paint it, so let's go ahead and paint it. Okay, right, so I've got a little tiny bit of um, Indian yellow on the paintbrush, and it's going to be a nice little sunset, this. Nice little sunset on the, on the cliff tops, looking out to sea. And we're going to have the sun round about here. So just the tiniest little amount of Indian yellow, tiny little amount. Don't want much, it's very strong, very strong yellow. And all the way around, something about like so. Okay, and now down in the, uh, we'll put a tiny bit here and there where the sea's going to be. Don't want much, gonna have a, a really colorful sea. So dry brush, and I'm just gonna blend this into the liquid white because we're gonna come and put some blues up here and we wanna really dilute the yellow around these edges. So when we add blue to the yellow, we don't wanna get a, we don't want a green sky that was in the other painting, okay all the way across, just like that. Okay, let's wash the brush one more time in Old Lewis Paint Dinner. So I've taken just a touch of, of blue and black and made a little gray color, a gray blue. And we'll start at the top. Very little paint on the paintbrush. And we'll just bring that down the blue down to where the yellow is. Got to be very careful here folks, we don't want to make a green sky, a bit more paint. And we can intentionally leave some areas open. They'll give like a bit of a variant in your sky. Up here as well. And we'll come and add some more colours as well as we go along. Just like that. Just like that. There. And Liz and Crimson and uh, a bit of Thalo Blue just mixed together. And we'll have a bit of purple up here as well. Put some in here. Because when we come back and blend all this, we'll have a nice, nice, Beautiful, gorgeous sky. I'm going to put a bit more crimson on the brush. A little touch of crimson, get that up there as well. Right at the very top. And we might put some clouds in this as well, depending on depending on the mood. Depending on the mood. Okay, so you, you can use several brushes, but. Um, for today, I'm just using this one. I'm just gonna put a touch of crimson. This is straight crimson, so that's why I washed the brush. And we can go straight into the yellows with this. It doesn't, it doesn't really upset the yellow. Get a nice peachy color. And then if we feather that as well. All the way around, just like that. Okay, now we'll get a different brush, a dry brush, clean and dry. Okay, now we're going to start in this, this light area and work his way out. Just blending the colours. And I want to have that effect of, you can't tell where one colour starts and the other colour stops. There we 
Okay, so I've made a colour of Elysium Crimson, if it'll pick this up, there we go. Thalo Blue and a tiny bit of black. And uh, that way, we're going to make some clouds. Oop. We're going to make some clouds. It looks almost black. And then we're going to just make some... Because it's, because it's got crimsons in and purples that will make some lovely looking clouds. I'm just going to put these in like so. We can feather them about like this. Lovely looking colour, a gorgeous colour. And they just swirl it off your fan brush. All we're doing is turning, turning the brush. Like that. There. Right, back to a dry brush. Let's get a dry one. This is this is dry, I've just cleaned it, so all we do is just tickle, tickle the base. Same on this side. You might have to wipe the brush or knock it against something solid just to remove excess paint. So just tickle the base of these clouds. There. All right, it's time to get his fingers dirty now. So I'm just taking a touch of white paint on the my finger, I'm just gonna put in a little finger painting, just there, like that. Now I have to beat the uh, the finger up. So I've made a I've made a peachy colour out of bright red, Indian yellow, and, and white. Loaded it onto the fan brush and let's. Let's just put some more different kinds of clouds. We're just gonna have those sitting about here, I think. Different color, just on the fan brush. Let's tweak those in. Lovely little peachy color. Vary the tone slightly if we wish. We could take it to the red side or the yellow side. Wherever they should live, that's exactly where they should be. Just wanna add a bit more red in there. Lovely colours, lovely, absolutely glorious colours. Touch of red here there. I keep doing these sound effects. <laughs> there, like that. Now let's merge all that together. So I've got my favourite brush at the moment, this Pony Air. I'm just going to tickle. It's so soft, so delicate. Let's put some highlights on those clouds. Okay, so just titanium white paint. There and here and here and there, we'll just add a few, a few highlights. Don't want many, don't want to overdo. A couple on this one. Yeah. 
Let's get that blender brush again. And just tweak these a little bit. A little bit more, I think. Just there, yeah, just right where the sun will catch. Right where the sun is going to catch, just there. And down in this. And the brush. Another layer just here. You can play for hours doing this. You have unlimited time. You could really play, play for hours. Create all sorts of wonderful and lovely effects. Like so. All right, so let's work on the sea. So we're gonna come in just here. And we're gonna pull from the outside this is a mixture of purples and crimsons. And that hint of yellow will still stay in there. And then from this side. Like so. Again, blue. The thing blue, I think. We'll alter the flavour here and there. Like that. How good does that look so far? It's a carnival, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's get back onto it. So, big dry brush, and I'm going to firmly pull this from the outside in the outside in and the more I pull the more it'll mix with the liquid white that's underneath okay and then from this side pull again and try and keep your lines as straight as they possibly can be you don't want you see going uphill Now sometimes it pays dividends to put a, a layer of masking tape all the way along. But we're having a softer horizon this time, so it you can do that, but you don't need it in this painting. And then just gently, lightly go along. Just lightly go across. Now if you get a big patch of colour that you don't like, you can, you can, I'm just going to add some, some Elysian Crimson in there, just on a fan brush, and then just blend it together. So again, just pull in one direction, just like that, really soften it up. Real can see. Now let's work a little bit more on this sheen of light. So I'm going to take a fan brush. Let me find a fan brush with some white paint on it. There we go. This one will do. A little bit of white paint. And then we're going to start just by a touch. Let's get a bit more paint. And we want the we want this to get the, the, the sheen to get bigger as it comes towards us. Just like that. Maybe 
Maybe some stronger pieces. Pieces? Waves, should I say? <laughs> pieces. Pieces of eight. I know what I'm on about. And then just gently across again. Now, I'm going to get a knife. And that's one way of, of putting a little sheen on there. Well, let's get the knife. And I'm just gonna put every now and again. Just gonna rub in a nice little. Use the small edge of the knife, that's what it's there for. I'm going to sneak this one just about there. Okay, let's work on the cliff top. So, down here, I um, think, well, now this is just this purpley colour that we've we've created the, for the for the sky the clouds just scrub that in <laughs> painting the easel as well but that's how it goes sometimes I might have a touch more touch more black into that now just Fill all this in with colour. So there we go, so we just added all this colour down at the bottom there. I hope you can see that, I had a bit of a problem with the autofocus and, and whatnot, but there we go. The, uh, the old diesel's gonna deck a bit of a clean up. <laughs> okay, so just a bit of thin colour uh, on the script liner brush and just add some little, little um, sticks and things that live up here on the cliff tops. And it's always good fun if you if you sort of like curve them in towards the uh, towards the centre of the painting. That way it'll draw your eye the centre of the painting. Same on the other side. So we'll just add a few. Could even add a palm tree if you wish. Just a few there and here. Just like that. Right. A couple of little flowers or like that oats or whatever they are that buds on top of these grassy stems yeah just like that so I'll come back in with a tiny bit of green not much I don't want much it's nice just silhouetted, doesn't it? So I'll just put a few, few greeny darts on. You probably can't tell that on camera, but they're there. I know they're there. We know they're there. Just one or two. Work on individual little bushes. Just a bit of bright red to this one. Leave some areas dark and black as well. There. There we go. Let's sign this little do for you do. Let's sign this one just down there. And if you did like this one, my fantastic friends, give me a thumbs up. 
give me a big old like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell. You know what to do, don't you? And then leave me a nice big comment. I like comments. I like reading your comments. I don't always have a chance to reply straight away, but I, had, I endeavour to do that. But until next time, my fantastic friends, take care of the sun, stay safe, happy days.